today's topic of discussion is a problem which was asked in earlier examination the problem is related to the chapter direct and bending stresses a hollow circular column having external diameter 2 meter carries load of 460 kilonewton at an eccentricity of 0.8 meter draw resultant stress diagram for this column area is equal to 2.356 meter square and IXX is equal to IYY is equal to 0.7363 meter raised to 4. So here the diameter that is external diameter is given. The load is given 460 kilonewton. Eccentricity E that is 0.8 meter is given. Here the inner diameter is not given. Instead of that the area is directly given that is 2.356 meter square and IXX is equal to IYY is given. To find the resultant stress sigma maximum and sigma minimum. So direct stress sigma naught is P upon A. We put the value of P and A and get the value of direct stress that is 195.25 kilonewton meter square. Bending stress that is sigma B is equal to M upon Z and we know that M is equal to P into E and Z equal to I upon Y max where y max for the circular section is capital D that is the outer diameter upon 2 which is equal to 2 upon 2 that is equal to 1. So we put the value of P that is load, E that is eccentricity, I which is given so 0.7363 upon y max that we calculated as 1. So we got bending stress equal to 499 point eight zero kilonewton per meter square and now we need to find the resultant stresses so sigma max equal to sigma naught plus sigma b that is direct plus pending stress we added and we got 695.05 kilonewton meter square which is compressive and sigma minimum is equal to sigma naught minus sigma b that is the direct stress minus bending stress where we got 195.25 minus 499.80 and we got as minus 304.55 kilonewton per meter square so hence this is a tensile and now the resultant stress diagram so this is the figure of the section which will look like the outer diameter which is 2 meter so we will draw the resultant stress distribution so the sigma max is 695.05 kilonewton per meter square and the minimum stress is 304.55 kilonewton per meter square and which is negative that is tensile that's why we have drawn here so this is compressive and this is tensile the sign is not required over here we can just write the value so this is resultant stress distribution diagram so this was a problem from the chapter direct and bending stresses. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.